Hello, welcome back to AJM Learn. Today, I wanna to show you two different ways you can add a calendar of events to your Squarespace site. Um, first, we'll start with the built-in Squarespace capabilities. So a calendar um, block, an events page, and then I'll show you my favorite plugin that, in my opinion, looks a lot better. There's a lot more customizations to be had. Okay, starters right now, built-in stuff on Squarespace. So I'm in my lovely sandbox site. Uh, first and foremost, what I'm going to do is add an events page. So just like you would normally add a page, choose the events one, whatever you want it to look like. And bam. Okay. So we are in the events page. What I'm going to do just because it, like this is my beef with Squarespace. I love Squarespace, obviously, or I wouldn't be doing this. But like, why are these dated 2025? Like, why? they're not going to show up on my calendar when I'm trying to mock this up, but whatever. Okay. So we have this event one. Let me go into settings. So quick kind of tutorial on this. This works really a lot like a blog page. These pages are very, very similar. Um, the difference is you, you will go into date and time and you'll set that date and time because it's an event. Um, so you have your event start. So let me get back to like, you know, a day near us. Let's go for tomorrow and then the event end. Let me go to also tomorrow. Um, and let's say it starts at one, whatever. Um, you have all of your normal options in here where you can make it like a draft. You could schedule it, um, categorize, et cetera. One thing that's going to be really important probably for events, unless it's virtual, uh, even if it is, um, well, yeah, you don't have any virtual options here, but you can put in your business information here. Um, so just, or not your business, like the location of, sorry, of your event. So if you want the location to show, you can put it here. You can also, a lot of times, honestly, I put it like in the description, but let me do like a one, two, three, eight, like main street. What? So it's going to be like, cool. Well, our events in Kansas. Okay. So that's kind of your edits within the ellipses. Uh, it's, you know, as always, oh, sorry. Yeah, obviously change out your photo, change out your excerpts, um, your URL, blah, blah, blah. So all the normal stuff, kind of like a blog. And then on page, there's not a lot you can do. So if I go into edit um, your events, if you go to edit section, really, you can like change the height, um, you know, like full inset, show the thumbnail not, show past events, etc. You can see, but all the like really super basic stuff, um, you know, you could like remove some things. Uh, yeah, so pretty basic on what you can do on this actual like events page. Um, to be honest, it, the way we're setting this up, you're not really going to uh, see this page. Okay, so real quick, I'm just gonna duplicate this event. I will go as fast as possible. Just gonna make them on different days. Of course, we need to publish this. Gosh, I always forget where that is. Okay, publish, save. I'm just gonna get three on there. Oops. So duplicate. Duplicate is always like really the easiest way to do anything in Squarespace. Okay, cool. Nineteenth. Let's make it live. All right. Awesome. Okay. So our events page is set up. Oops. So probably you're going to move that to your not linked. You're not going to like, people aren't going to be navigating directly to the events page. They can, like they totally can, if that's how you want to use this. Um, but for the purpose of this demonstration, I will show you how to add a calendar. So I'm going to go back to my homepage. Let's say I wanted it on my homepage. Uh, I made a little section for it here. You're going to add a block and you're going to add the calendar block. Um, you know, stretch it however big you want. Fix your spacing. Okay. In here, you will link to your events. And now you'll see those events are showing up on these three days. Um, there's literally no other edits to be had here. Like, that's it. But cool. Um, and you can exit. So, yeah, that's it. And when you hover, it'll give you the information for that event. I find this very confusing because I'm like, okay, I'm hovering, but then the information's popping up on another day, kind of, and it's tiny. That's it. And then like the days you don't have an event just look really sad. Um, so uh, to start there, one thing I do like to do, let me, I'm in my own post here. Let me get to my CSS um, is as always, I like to, you know, add a little CSS. So if you go to your website tools, let me make some space. Oh, I have nothing here. Okay. 
let me actually make the calendar slightly smaller so we can kind of see everything I'm doing. There we go. Okay. All right, a few things you can do to spruce this up, but there's really like not that much. So first thing I sometimes like to do is add a border. Um, one quick note, you can see how crazy this looks. It does this right when like you put the, put the code in. Um, but if you go into full screen, you can see it actually looks perfect. So I tested this a bunch and it should be totally fine. Um, yeah, it, it just is super wonky. And now look, when you go back here, it's fine. It's just when you first apply it. Um, obviously, obviously you can change the thickness of your border. You can change the color of your border here. You can change the padding I added because when with no padding, it's just like, right up against it you could obviously make it different on each side whatever you want to do and then your border radius you know if you want these round corners or not um okay cool uh next thing you can change let's change the color of like the oh actually these are the weekdays so these up here so i've changed those to my you know um my teal let's actually see if it'll respond to like a heavier font weight i might have to go import it no, it's not loving that. So play around with it. I mean, this is again, like not super customizable. So um, for now we can change the color, which, you know, better than nothing. Um, month and year. So this up here, you can, same thing. Uh, I just have the color changed here. I've not really didn't dive into this too much to see how crazy you can get with the CSS and what it'll actually respond to, but like, feel free to go crazy um, and try. But for now, like we definitely can change the color. And then this one's kind of cool. You can change the color of the days with events. Um, actually, you know what? This is really only going to matter on days without photos. So let me go back and remove a photo. Do, 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 just ignore me over here. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed my song. All right, let's remove the photo. Let's do that with the new navigation. Okay, so now you can see the day with an event. So if you don't want to use photos, um, any day with an event could be like a color instead. There's probably a way, I wonder with like the like child stuff, if you could make each like a different color or something. I haven't really got that far. Um, but for now, this is like better than it was. At least it like has a border and you can like make it brand colors because otherwise this thing is just so uncustomizable. Um, so that's it. That's how to make the calendar in Squarespace. All right, so let's dive over to another way to do this, um, which is on Elf site. Um, there's, there's a, you could like plug in a calendar from Eventbrite or like other places. But these are made specifically for Squarespace and they just respond better. They look so much better. So this is really my favorite way to go. Obviously, you can immediately see the difference. So they have all of these templates. You can customize them. You'll see that. This one's really cool. I've used this one for a client for. Um, so you can just start with whatever makes the most sense for what you're looking to do. Um, sorry, my obviously things are like not loading super quickly today um let's start with this one so just click continue with this template i won't get too crazy in here because this could go on forever but basically you know click any of these oh my gosh of course it's like you're like we know we know okay had to quickly fix that so the screen may look a little different all of a sudden but all right we're good to go so basically let's pretend like we want this one continue with this template um, you could click into any of these. So obviously we're probably not like showing a baseball schedule. I don't know. Maybe you are. Um, so, so much to edit here, your start and you can make it an all day event, choose your time zone. You can make it repeat. That's something that I know people are really searching for is putting repeated events. Um, I don't think we can do that on Squarespace. Um, you can add a description, et cetera, an image. I won't go like too much into this, uh, because obviously there's a million and a half different options you can put here. You can do your button so people can like get tickets, which you can link directly to your, um, e-commerce and Squarespace. So lots of really, really cool options here. So this is just all of your normal setup. Um, again, click around. There's a whole lot going on here. Layouts, you can play around if you're like, okay, just kidding. I actually like don't want this. I want it to be a slider. Um, so you can play around with the actual layout, uh, how many to display, the width, just everything. There's so much more in there I'm not showing you. Um, 
this is where you get into the colors, it like the view, everything. So obviously you can change the color of the background, your fonts. You can add custom CSS if you're comfortable with that. Um, and yeah, just lots of options here. And then your very last thing you're gonna do is add to website. Now, if you're on the free plan, it will show a um, like elf site badge. I always suggest it's really cheap. I think like $4 a month to upgrade, but none of my business, whatever you want to do. Um, but basically all you gotta do is click publish. Um, I'm gonna, there's a way to do this. How do I bypass this? Click the X. Cause at first you're like, oh my God, what do I do? Click the X. I've been here. Um, go to install guys. Okay. I think it's because I've ran out. Of, I've run out of space in one of my widgets for my example here. So basically you click install, it's going to give you a piece of code. You're going to hop back over here. You're going to get rid of this calendar. You're going to add your code block, you know, however, and you can play around with it. Like once you install it, um, it, it these respond really, really well. So you're not really going to do much, but just go into your code block and then drop that piece of code. in they gave you, I would love to show you how perfect and beautiful it looks, but, um, yeah, my bad. I'm already actually actively using my widget and I haven't upgraded yet. So that's how you do it. Um, hope you enjoy.